As you can see behind us here, we're standing in front of the Bucks County Playhouse. Uh, we've finished putting up the scaffolding around the upper tower. Um, they're removing the roof. Last week we looked at it and we saw that the inside of the roof was completely shot from the spray foam. So what we had to do, we had to expand our project a little bit by having to tear all the sheathing off the roof and we're replacing the sheathing and putting new shingles on. You can see the progress they've done so far on the roof. Uh, they started on that yesterday. The scaffolding started going up on Monday. It took them three days to put the scaffolding up. Then they tore one whole half of the roof off uh, in two days. We're going to go inside the playhouse now and we're, they're going to move the fire curtain from its uh, original position out of the smoke pocket. They're going to hang it, uh, dead hang it, in the middle of the stage, uh, about seven feet off the stage so that we can uh, set scaffolding on either side of it and they can restore it on either side of it from underneath of the work that we'll be doing all the way up on top of the rigging. I'll be going inside and take a look. The fire curtain drops down in case there's a fire on the stage. It would drop down and separate the audience from the, whatever's happening on the stage. The restoration guy had found photographs of the original picture that was on the front of it, so he's going to use that to help him restore the front of the, uh, the, front of the fire curtain. It's more cost effective to restore this one than it is to buy a new one. And also for historic value, with the scene on the front of it, they're going to restore the scene and, uh, and that way you know, it'll be, be back the way that it originally was. Here we are, we're in the basement of the playhouse right now. We're right underneath where the rigging goes. And what we did is we cut a track right through the stage. We're going to install new steel in here. We're going to have two steel beams with a steel plate on top of them. One's going to be bolted down to that footing, and one's going to be bolted down to that wall over there. And what they'll do is they're going to put the two steel beams in. There'll be a steel plate that's flush with the, with the stage floor. So when it's all said and done, this, this hole will be filled in, and there'll be a steel plate across there that they have plenty of space to weld and bolt their new equipment to, the new rigging and the new rigging is going to be all a motorized system with cables rather than ropes, where before it was ropes. So what this steel deck will do, it'll allow them to bolt down uh, their rigging to the new steel deck. Uh, it's more of a modernized system. What we're doing today is we're cutting some concrete open so that we can pour some footings for a new landing and set of steps we're putting in here for accessibility. Uh, it's going to create a nicer entry for the playhouse. And we're going to also build an accessibility ramp down the side so that we get everybody in to enjoy the shows. We're power washing the outside of the building. The entire building to be power washed to remove all the old paint. And we're going to put a new epoxy paint on here. Uh, it's more of a masonry paint and it's more of a sealer. It's going to fill all these cracks and all these crevices and make it a waterproof surface versus using a regular acrylic paint, which wouldn't do that for, for longevity's sake. What we're looking at here is we're cutting the concrete open. Uh, we're putting the new bathroom in here. This was one bathroom, and now we're making in. There was two bathrooms. Now we're going to make it into one bathroom. Uh, it's going to be an ADA bathroom. Uh, that way, accessibility again. Everyone can get in here and use the facilities. Uh, we're cutting the concrete open. The toilet's going to be over there, and then the the drain line is going to follow this trench down, and then go out, and then hook into the existing drain line, and then we have a sink uh, going right over here in this corner. We saw the other day that uh, they were patching the walls. Now they're starting to finish the walls off. So what they'll do is they'll put a final coat on and then they'll sand it all down. What he's doing right there is he's got one rough coat on there. They'll sand the whole wall down and make it all smooth and then, they will, um, then they'll be able to prime it. Uh, we should be priming in the next, uh, next couple days. They may need, need a couple coats to uh, sand it and then they may need to put a patch coat on it again and then sand it again. So they'll, they'll work on it until they get the right texture they're looking for to match in with the existing. As you can see over here, we're breaking up the concrete uh, to make for the promenade, make the way for the promenade. Uh, we're tearing all that concrete out of there and they're putting in grass and uh, benches. Um, the landscaper, Hugh Marshall, is, uh, is the one doing that. Um, they're going to make that a public, uh, public area. Today we're outside the Bucks County Playhouse. We got the steel coming in. It's a big day for us. So what we did here is they came in, they stockpiled all the steel in the parking lot here, and we're loading the steel in through the roof. We'll take you inside in a minute and we'll show you where we cut the roof open. They're lifting it up over top of the building and they're dropping it in the hole and they're stockpiling it inside and then we'll close up by the end of the day. So by the end of the day, all the steel will be inside and the roof will be back together and waterproof. 
as you can see, we're inside the playhouse now. We cut the slots in the roof to lower the stuff in. They're lowering all the steel in for the catwalk, and they're going to stockpile it off to the side here, and then they'll put in the big pieces of bench steel that are structural, so they're going to hold the catwalk up and hold the building together. They're loading everything inside. Uh, that way, we don't have to carry it all the way around and get it up top here. Uh, what they did here is they took out a section of the wall and they drilled the re-rod the re into the wall and we're going to fill this up with concrete. This is where the, the, the steel is going to sit that goes inside of the, the roof. And the two points of the steel are, one is to hold the walls from trying to spread apart and the other is to support the catwalk that's going to be installed, the new catwalk that's going to be installed. Uh, so all this stuff is designed to lock it into the wall so again it can stop the wall from trying to move out on us. So they've been working on the fire curtain for about a week now. They got it all cleaned off. They vacuumed all the dust and loose stuff off of it. They're going around and mending the holes and they've sprayed it twice with lacquer already. From this angle, you can see how big the fire curtain really is. It's about 24 feet tall and 35 feet wide. All right, so we're up here in the fly tower of the, above the stage. Uh, we've already replaced all the sheathing and the underside of the decking. Now we're starting to insulate. What they're using, they're using a rock wall insulation. It's got a black matte finish on it, and it's, uh, it's actual mineral wool, it's not fiberglass. It's made of steel, uh, recycled steel and steel scraps, um, so it won't burn. Uh, and it has a good acoustical quality too, so if there's a storm going on outside or rain going on outside, you're not gonna hear it down in the stage.